Hey, my name is Phil with softwarepilot.io. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an email finding and outreach tool called Contact Out. Now in this Contact Out review, I wanna show you exactly what this platform is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And if it's your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I review some of the best software on the internet, especially for small and medium-sized businesses. So if you wanna find the right software for you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So first of all, what is Contact Out? Well, it is a platform that allows you to find professionals, emails, and phone numbers from around the world. In fact, they say they have over 300 million contacts details, which is pretty incredible. It also is an automation uh, platform, so you can add in different types of email automations that replaces things like people's names and companies, so you can send out personalized messages in bulk. And it also has a Chrome extension, so if you go into places like LinkedIn, you can find the person you're looking for, click on the Chrome extension, and it's actually going to show you their contact email and number as well. So this is a game changer if you are in the sales industry, if you're in recruitment looking for the top people to bring into your team, then Contact Out is going to be one of your go-tos. They say they unlock the world's most accurate contact data, which is a really big statement, but after playing with it for a little bit, I could probably agree with them. So what I'll do is quickly go through the different listed features on the website, just in case I miss out on any in this product review. So we have here the search portal. This is going to be where the mass collection of data is. So if you're looking for anyone in any industry around the world, this is where you're gonna get access Access to those 300 million professionals contact details then once you choose the contacts that you want to send messages to you can also create email campaigns so you create a campaign that can have numerous follow-up emails and then you can just simply drop the people into it and it's going to send out on autopilot so it's pretty cool they also have a Chrome extension for using it with LinkedIn I'll show you that then there's also some integrations data enrichment and their API so what I'm gonna do right now is quickly show you the pricing uh, I won't spend too long here, but we have three different plans and then you can talk to the team if you've got something unique. We have first of all the free plan. This is just to get your toes wet. So you get 40 emails you can collect. You can also find three phone numbers. And this works just on the standard LinkedIn, not the navigator or anything like that. And you can also find work emails and personal emails. But as soon as you go to the sales plan, which is either 97 a month billed annually or 99 a month, this is when you can increase your limits. Uh, you get 500 emails a month, 50 phone numbers that you can find, plus it works on all these different things. You also get um, multiple different types of integrations as well, which is pretty cool. And then on the recruiter plan, uh, it's, it's just pretty much increased from there. You get 1,000 emails, um, plus you get all the same benefits as well. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go into my account. So let's go into the search plan. And just to let you know, on this particular uh, tutorial or review, I'm going through the recruiter plan, which is their highest plan, um, just giving it a whirl, so it's pretty cool. So this is the contact out dashboard, and you can see they have 306 million profiles inside of this platform. So no matter what you're looking for, there is definitely going to be something. In fact, I had a friend reach out the other day looking for a specific platform like this, so this is why I'm reviewing contact out. So let's just say I'm looking for uh, health coaches in a certain city. So let's just type in here health coach, okay? Let's come down and maybe we're looking for, Sydney, Australia is already there, so I'm gonna type in Sydney, Australia. So I'm looking for health coaches in Sydney, Australia, right? You can choose like very, very precise types of people. If you're looking for one specific person, you can type in their name, um, job titles, you can choose which uh, position they have within their company, things like that. So um, there's plenty to choose from, but just for this example, I'll have a look to see if there's any health coaches in Sydney. So I'll go ahead, click on search. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring you back some results. So there's 327 profiles for health coaches in Sydney, which is remarkable. If you were uh, selling something to health coaches and you're Australian, this would be a very easy way to actually find people. And then once you have found the person you want to uh, reach out to or the people you want to reach out to, you can either choose by mass selecting and then you can go ahead and save them. Or if you just wanted to quickly have a look at their contact details. Now, you 
you can just click on email and boom there it is find phone and then that's just going to come off your plan so it's pretty easy you can see you've just got copious amounts of data and contacts and people you can reach out to and then the cool thing about this is once you build out your campaigns this is when you can drop them into it so now we have found a type of person that we're looking for in this example health coaches in sydney what we can then do is start building out lists so to do that, we come on the left here to lists and go ahead and click create list. This is where you can start creating categorized people. So I'm going to say inside here, health coaches, Sydney, right? Click on create list. And now what I can do is every time I search for more people, I think I'm going to have to search it again. It's all right though. Every time you find a contact, you don't actually have to repay for them if they're the same person, um, which is good. So I'll type in here Sydney Australia one more time okay click search right so here's our people you can see the contact details are still there I could go ahead say let's choose these first five click on save and then you can see we've got here folders and this is actually your list so I'm gonna click health coaches Sydney click on save right and then if I come back to lists you can see I've now got five profiles in this particular list here, right? So it's pretty cool. Then choose the ones that you want and then you can start adding them to the email campaigns. So it's really simple and easy to use. Now, I'm gonna show you quickly the LinkedIn uh, with the Chrome extension. This is actually pretty cool. To be honest, I don't use uh, LinkedIn enough, but this tool is actually going to push me over that edge. So let's just say this person here, Katerina Simonova, Simonova, I believe you say it. I think she works at Make, which is an integration platform. Let's just say I needed to reach out for her for some reason. You can see instantly we have this little button here and if it's not showing, you can see this little tab which says contact out. Click on that and then this is going to allow you to instantly grab their info as well. So once again, click view email. This is her personal email by the looks of it. Find phone number once again. Phone number is not available, so that's fine. And then we can go ahead and either save it to a list or we can add it to an email campaign. You just got to go and choose the campaigns that you've created and then they'll automatically be added. So it makes it pretty quick and easy to use. And once again, the Chrome extension, if you want to find it, is in the Google Chrome store and you can see mine's already been added. So I don't think it's seen on the screen that I'm recording, but it is inside of the extensions anyway. So very cool list, very cool platform so far, um, but that is how you can easily find profiles and add people to campaigns. So let's go have a look at campaigns now. So this is the campaigns tab. I've just gone ahead and archived all of my previous campaigns so I can build one out and show you how it works. What you wanna do is come to the top right here. We have create new campaign. Go ahead, click on that, and it's going to bring up your email automation builder. Now, as you can see, first of all, we've got a name. So I'm just gonna call this test one. And then at the moment, we've got a blank subject line and blank content. Now there's some pretty cool things inside of here. You can. Uh, obviously change things like the uh, font and size, but we've got what's called insert placeholder. So you can do things like add in their email addresses. It's automatically going to be uh, swapped with each contact's information, which is pretty cool. We've also got first name and company, and you can also create your custom fields if you wish. But we have here what's called the AI email writer. Now it's really cool that they've added AI into this process because I feel like sometimes people doing outreach aren't the best at it. So if you're new to doing outreach, this might give you a few ideas of what you can actually talk about. So if you click on AI email writer, you can see we've got some basic prompts that you can get started with. So you can either type these in here if you wanna uh, create your own prompt, or if you wanna see what ones are already created for you that you can build off, build off, this is where you can have a look. They've got nine different email prompt templates, an introductory email, follow-up email, or an offer letter. These are in the recruitment tab. We've also got the sales tab and general tab. But you can see there's a few different types of emails that have got prompts already created. So let's just say it's a cold outreach email. You can see now it's created some prompts that would create an email for you. So write me a cold email outreach or cold outreach email. Introduce myself and or my company explain why we're reaching out and then describe how uh, how we can help readers in their problem invite them to get in touch if they're interested in learning more so this is where you can get personalized you can use your own name you can add your own company name you can talk about what your services are or what you're actually 
giving to these companies or what the proposal is, things like that. And then once you're happy with it, go ahead, click on generate email, and it's going to give you a, uh, a result that you can actually go back and edit the prompt to get something better. Now, the cool thing about this, it's an AI writer, so it's never going to be the exact same text. Every time you do it, it's going to be different. So this one here, subject connecting with recipient name to help solve problem, right? So whatever the problem is, you can insert it in there. Dear recipient name, my name is, and obviously this is where you would wanna have your personalization added, um, but this is pretty cool, right? If you wanna change the prompt as well, you can just simply come back and go ahead, change a few things, and go ahead and click generate email again, and it's going to adjust your email. But let's just say you're happy with it. Go ahead, click copy to campaign. And uh, obviously every industry is slightly different, but I'll just leave this just to show you how it works. And you can see it automatically populates the subject, it automatically populates the email, and this is where you'd go through and start changing things. So, dear recipient name, what I would do is backspace that, insert a placeholder, which would be first name, okay, and a fallback text, so if their first name is not added, you could just say something like there, right? So if they haven't got a first name added, it'll just say there. My name is, and this is where you change in your name, right? My name is Phil, and I'm the um, CEO at, and then I'll type in my company name, right? So, Software Pilot, right? And you get the idea. You come through and you fill out the template. If you're happy with it, then you can go ahead and move on to the next step. So, let's just say this is the first email. You're happy with it. Then you could go down, and over here we have add a follow up email. Now, the same thing happens again. You can choose if you want to send it a day later, a few days later. You can start building out the next email template. You can even add and reply in the same thread if you want, which makes it look like it's replied. So, it's going to keep everything nice and organized. Um, but it's pretty cool how it works. And of course, you just want to play around with this until you have a good amount of emails just so your follow up series can work. Let's just say you're happy with that. Go ahead, click on save and exit, or you can click on continue. We'll click on to continue in case there's something I've missed. Okay, so if you click on continue, it'll take you to this page here. And if you've already started scraping some recipients, right, some contacts, this is where you can add them. So you can either upload them via CSV, but we've already started collecting contacts emails here. So I'm going to click import, import from contact out. I'm going to choose from folders. I'm going to click on health coaches Sydney, right? And then I'm going to go ahead, click on import. So now we've got some people which are ready to be sent to. If I click on start campaign, it's actually going to send out the emails now, which I'm not going to do because the email doesn't really make sense and I don't actually wanna reach out to these people, but that is how you do it. I'm gonna click save and exit. Now there's one thing I forgot to tell you as well. Uh, when you first create your campaign and create your first emails, it's going to ask for an email integration when you start your first campaign. Now there's two providers that it works with. It is Gmail and Outlook. So all you need to do is quickly connect it with either your Gmail account or your Outlook account uh, and it's going to start working from there. So once everything's good to go, of course you click on it, click continue and start campaign and then it's going to start adding people and reaching out to people here so that's pretty cool and then every time you go back and you find another contact that you want to reach out to let's just say it's this person here um, I'll go ahead click view email and then what I'm going to do is put save and I'm going to add this person to health coasters Sydney um, click Oh, actually, no, what I'm going to do, sorry, is click email campaign and choose test one, which is the one I've just created. Click add recipient, and then that person is automatically going to be sent out a new email, right? They're going to get sent through the series of emails inside of that email campaign. So it's very cool how all of this works. It's so quick and so easy to use. Uh, it makes life a lot more simple, especially if you don't have much time. You just want to create a system. You just want to find people, drop them in, and actually start getting everything working. So those are the main features. So that is basically the bread and butter of Contact Out. They've made it so easy to create email systems where you can just drop contacts in and you can also find the right people for your needs within their search engine. Now some other features, once again, we have on the left here, Enrichment. This is how you can get your data 
your data records corrected and other bits and pieces. I haven't played around with this, so I'm not going to get too much into it. We also have 10 integrations you can go with. And one of them is, of course, Zapier, which basically connects to everything. So it's going to make life and automation a lot easier. Then we've got our, your API. And on the left, we've got account. But that's basically contact out. So that is my contact out review. Once again, if you are in sales, if you're in recruitment, or if you're just looking for a specific person's details, which is very important to your business, then contact out is going to make that so much easier. With over 300 million professionals details inside of their database, plus you have that LinkedIn tool, plus there is email automation, then this is just going to make life so much easier with your outreach campaigns. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this contact out review. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got some incredible product reviews coming out in the near future. But that's it from me. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video.